Hey YouTubers, um, I've been saying for a while after a project saw and um, one has turned up at my doorstep, virtually turned up at my doorstep um, and it's, uh, it's an O2-6, so it's an older model saw that's pro saw, um, 50cc uh, this one belongs to an arb mate of mine. If you like fixing chainsaws, um, get some arborist mates. Um, they definitely will help you with that. Because not that they intentionally wreck them, but they use them and so they break and that's how it goes. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be fixing this. Um, Steel Shop said it's not worth fixing. Um, they're probably right from the point of view that. It, the parts and labour that they would charge would um, just about be close to a new one of these, which is only fifteen hundred bucks. But uh, so my mate rang me and said, uh, "What can you do?" And I said, "Hey, how about um, you pay for the parts and I'll fix it just for the joy." So um, yeah, that's what's going to happen. And uh, yeah, it's um, these are great saws. These are actually my favourite saw, like. Like if I could go out and buy a brand new still, it'd be a it'd be a two six one. Um, but no, I don't want the bigger still out. Um, don't need it. That's why. And um, this is the size still that I need and use mostly. So if I was going pro saw, it'd be uh, a two six one. Um, and this is the older model, so the O two six. And uh, they're a great saw. They're a great saw. There's nothing wrong with these saws. And is it worth fixing? Hell yes, it's worth fixing. This is this is a great saw. There's nothing wrong with it. So, Steel Shop said possible seal leak and the carb's a bit warm. So I'm gonna have a look at the carb. Whether it just needs a new carb kit or a total replacement carb, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, I'm gonna do a compression test on it just to check check out where the leak's coming from, check the, um, which side seal it's coming from. But um, I'm thinking it might be a full rebuild, split the crankcases anyway, just because if the bearings are starting to have a little play in them and they're wearing the seals out because the crankshaft's um, leaning slightly a bit wobbly at high speeds, then it um, could be time for some new bearings. And um, So it's quite possibly a total rebuild on this one, which is, which is cool, which is cool. I just, I just love that. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. So here we go again. Still fans. Build is on. I'll keep you updated from time to time. It's different stages of what I'm up to. Um, <clears throat> again, it's not going to be bolt for bolt. I just really don't have the time for that or, or the ability to edit videos or anything like that. So um, if you want bolt for bolt, there's plenty of videos on there that you can learn from. This is just purely to see stages that I go through and see the final results of the of the saws that I do get to uh, work on and build. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Stage I'm up to now is I've just got the saw. Um, I'm getting pricing for parts, and uh, we are going to go from there. But until next time, still for life. Catch ya.